Howdy folks, and welcome to part 5.2 of my comprehensive guide to PFSense 2.3. In this video, I want to talk about RRD graphs. And I know what some of you are thinking, but wait, I've already seen this video. It already came out a couple weeks ago. What's going on? Well, um, as, well, as is uh, what kind of happens when you uh, make a video series on a piece of software which doesn't really exist yet, um, things change. And uh, shortly after I published my last video um, on RRD graphs, um, RRD tool got a major update and PFSense um, integrated that update. Um, and so now the RRD graphing system uh, is completely different now uh, in PFSense and my previous video um, has been somewhat invalidated. Um, this is gonna be a very short video. I'm not going to uh, completely Go, go over everything again. Um, so please reference um, the previous video uh, if you want to know more about how RRD tool works and the, the theory behind it and uh, why I think it's useful um, to enable. But I just wanted to show off the new interface um, because I had a, actually a subscriber comment saying that the RRD um, graphs option was missing. He went to status and uh, there's no RRD graph, and um, that uh, that intrigued me. So I actually checked, and I'd heard of the RRD tool update, but I didn't actually know that it made it into PFSense that quickly. Um, so I'm quite surprised. Uh, but now, if you want to view RRD graphs, you actually go to the uh, status monitoring here, and um, you'll be greeted with this very beautiful looking uh, interactive graph. And um, in order, and basically this, this graph is not only interactive, but you can actually adjust the axes um, on, uh, basically manually. So if you hit, hit the wrench up here, um, it'll bring in um, the settings and you can change what, uh, what parameters you want to see. So for example, um, I can view, let's say, quality of the WAN um, over a period of um, one hour, and I can update that and it'll show that to me. And uh, you can hover over and it will show you um, the values of the data in the past. So there's no more of a need to sort of, you know, eyeball it given the grid lines, you can actually uh, see what the actual values are. And it still gives you the same details at the bottom as it normally did before. Uh, one of the nice things about this is uh, you can now control uh, dual axes. So I can sit, say I wanna view quality versus traffic on the WAN. Um, I want to see them both at the same time. I can do that, and now it'll graph them both on the same same graph with independent axes, um, which is I think this is very powerful, um, and uh, I, I I I much prefer this over the uh, the previous uh, the previous implementation of just dumping a bunch of graphs uh, on the screen at once, uh, and you can still view it over all the time periods. You can change the resolution. All of the same options are here, except they're now um, they're now drop downs rather than you know here's a bunch of graphs. Find the graph that's relevant to you, and they're now interactive, which is quite nice. So um, I, I I suspect that by the time PFSense 2.3 becomes stable, this will most likely have changed yet again. Um, there may be slight tweaks, slight things that have changed. But um, I think for the most part, it's going to look very similar to this. So I just wanted to show you, um, you know, where it is now, how you can get to it. It hasn't been removed. It's just been renamed. Um, it's got the exact same functionality. It just looks very pretty now. So um, anyway, I think that was all I needed uh, for this update. Check out the previous video if you need more information than this. But uh, anyway, until uh, until the next video, hopefully this was interesting. Thanks for watching.